and welcome to the Real Wrestling League Disco Checker. This is your host, Dorf Williams, the fine bureaucrat who knows pretty much everything. Whoa, and I'm the co-host, Will Bobbians. Oh, I never get tired of saying that. Anyways, we here have gathered to have some exciting matches tonight that the last two weeks have been leading up upon. After kicking the Maple Leaf grappling sass, of course. Yes, but unfortunately some of the champions were embarrassments during that event, so... Uh, looks like we might have to punish them for... once. Yes, but before we get into the championship match, new, our first match is going to be Newt and Boopy Pekalen going one on, going in a tag team match against Feast Umber and Mystery. Let's see. Ooh, I like it here. Chair Kaka. Lander Tumber accompanies the Feast Umber and his partner, Mystery, into the ring. And here comes the normal people society. Yes. For some reason, CEEV has teamed up with all PH to put the creativity on us. Finally, you disgusting maggots learn what it's like to fraud. I used to be on your side, but I realized that CEEV is more valuable than will help me more to achieve your cause. You sold out your fist armor, but now your lungs cannot protect you. I have been waiting so long to go after you, and now the time has finally come. Interesting. This mysterious CEEV organization. We heard it, I heard about it last time, from Dave Prostito himself explained a little about it. It's just this strange organization apparently hates creative freedom and also wants to all destroy all the evil people by killing them. Yes, that, ex that executionism is kind of wild. Uh, you said it now. Oh, here we go. This Stomber already has let Newt out of the ring, but this time there won't be a problem, considering that now the, the pin, now the pin falls and such count on the outside, and there will be no time limit, so this match will likely not go into a time limit draw. You suddenly still run a lot of pinfall breaks. Newt is attacking this Stomber with... Uh, his trusty partner is on the side. Lumber Tromber shooting on the side helps to fish Tromber to have an upper knowledge. It kinda sucks that three people are against two people. I'm sure Atheus knows what they are doing. Whoa! Newt is getting brutalized by these three. Is this what they mean by punishing people who are evil? Probably. I know that Newt has been very unpopular among several circles. Uh, circles? I mean circles. Uh, I sometimes mispronounce words. That is very unfortunate habit of mine. Well, do not worry. Bobby Backlund is throwing Fist Tumber on the side. Newt is not looking pretty good for himself. Whoa! An almost an attack, but it failed. Come on, Bobby. Yes, Bobby came to help, but Lambert Tumber strikes him. Whoa! What the hell just happened? I think a beer bottle exploded. Hmm. Lambert uh, Tumber is, uh, is beating Newt for his brother's side. Whoa! No! No! Who oh, knew Crux could be that deadly? You tell me. He has to go back into the ring and talk to Poopy Packer and say that Ouch! They both are. Here comes a pinfall. One. Two. But it failed. This is even more exciting than usual, the team access. This number is not having any of it. Well, neither is. Newt is trying to escape to the ring so that he could talk to Poopy Packer and Poopy. Apparently, he can't get into the ring. Maybe he's tired. Whoa! Neil tries to attack in Lambert, but he is not officially part of this match. You would think Rob, uh, Rick Musinas could try something. Whoa! A backbreaker! And Mr. Ray right into the head, but Newt still fight does his best to fight against these two aggressors. 
He's trying his best. Newt does not care. He punches Lambert Homber in the face. I don't think boxes will improve that mark anymore. I say it does. Mr. E now takes the lead, although he they haven't officially tagged yet. Lambert is too still to focus the ball with other people outside the ring. Oh, he's finally returned to the ring. Lambert Tomber attack, but he missed. And it's another uh, submission attempt, but it failed. Now finally will we see. Yes, Poopy Batman is getting into the ring now. Uh, and Mr. E takes her to, and she instantly escapes back. What the hell is happening? No idea. Wow, that was amazing. He that already to new. That was a bad idea, but who cares? Mr. E is down. Strike him. Oh no, here comes Lambert Trump, but this can't be good. Whoa! <laughs> Mr. Newt has a golf club. He better go help his partner so that Mr. But Mr. E returns to the ring. Yes, it's going to go in. It's nice to see them go back into the ring after they get tired of being on the outside. Whoa! That was nice. Mr. E is getting a beating of his life from Newt. Who no said that he couldn't try, like the amazing comeuppance Inferno did last week. This is full of mysteries and surprises. Yes. Whoa! Oh, here comes Fist Tomber. A nice throw by Newt. Mr. E is not having any of it. He is thrown outside the ring again. Maybe this will be the chance for me Newt to strike back. Or maybe not. He is back and uh, outside the ring once again. He is attempting to go for a submission here. But there comes both of the... Oh, no, he is once again surrounded by three men of... Hate. I wouldn't necessarily say hate. They have good intentions, but they are very odd. Yes. I wonder if creativity will help to uh, destroy this mysterious faction. Traitorance and creativity have had a, have been viewed a few times because of Fortune's presence in both factions, but maybe this time they will team up. This could be the biggest challenge these two have ever faced. Look at how brutal Mr. E is to mute. A guy well known for his surprise instructions. Whoa. Whoa, that's not... One. Two. Oh, Poopy Packlin stopped it at just at the right time. Whoa, that was very nice. Break right into the stairs. Mr. But uh, Newt has a sign, and it reads Wrestling Revolution. Hmm. Somebody's here to come to come to see young CJ. Too bad news, but you are about two years too late. Wow, Newt is now thrown into the ring in a rare occurrence. Alright, Newt is trying to make mystery submit. Here comes Poopy back again. We now the rolls are reversed. A nice kick to the back. Whoa! That must hurt. Mystery is trying his best to beat up Newt. But will he succeed? Only time will tell. There comes Fist Armor, who is helping the Mr. E is doing one of his weird moves. What is he doing? He's now going to beat a puppy back at him. That was weird. Odd hit that he didn't strike Newt. <laughs> this gives... This is a suicide. Newt is now giving puppy back at a chance to beat up Mr. E. But where is he going? Where is he? 
what is he doing? Oh, so he got one of the deadly crutches. Whoa, one second to the outside. I was attacking to the road. That's still a very bad idea. I swear I have seen this before. Come on, you can do it. Oh no, here comes Lambert Trumper. This Tomber is coming too. It's constantly turning into chaos, but I think there should be results soon. Yes. Alright. Trying to go for... Here comes Rick Musinas. He's watching the... Will Mr. E tap out? Whoa! Here comes Lambert Tomber. He threw everything up, but Mr. E strikes back. I mean mute. I mean, I'm getting confused here. A booby packle and a fist tomber are meanwhile brawling. Whoa, he's going for the pin. One. No, it failed. A very nice mystery is now is once to end this match quickly. It failed. Mr. Newt is getting too weak. He's through turned his best. Whoa! Another pin attempt by Rick Moss. Come on, Rick! Rick! What is happening? He's playing over there. Get him bored. Whoa, mystery once again back to the ringside. It's a brutal showcase of athleticism and hatred. What is going on? What, what, why did Rick Musina start to do that to Newt? Hello, Newt. Are you home? Yes, he's being beaten by Fist Tumber. Whoa, almost an attempt, but it failed. Poopy Packerin is trying to help his old part her old partner. In the specific... Oh, here we go! One, two, three! Yes! And here's one! That was exciting. I couldn't tell who was able to win. It was pretty... It was unpredictable. Congratulations. It now looks like... He still did not pin the right guy. Yes. Only the mystery got pinned. But no matter. Let's move on to our next match. Right, next up we have Chloe Wolfie defending her hardcore championship against her former partner Mike Herbinian. What is this? Oh, this is a hog wild match. This is basically simulating a battle taking place inside a motorcycle ring. Yes, Claw Wolf, not accompanied by Chivery Albert for some reason. Yes, I think he's taking a day off, or maybe he's preparing for his own match, if he has one, any. Oh yes, he does have. He will face later tonight, as per possible. So be on the lookout for that. Claw Wolfie, with all the motorcycles that you need ever in your life. This is Eric Bischoff's wet dream. Go! Mike Herbidian instantly strikes. Only way to win this match is by cutting a pinfall and almost, we almost had a victory at a moment's notice. Claw Wolfie is posing, but she's not really attacking. Mike Herbindian, formerly conver almost converted uh, Wolfie to, the, to her mysterious, his mysterious cult, but she was able to snap out of it and reunite with his ex-boyfriend, Shivori Oper. And for some reason there was a pin attempt, but what is Rick Musinas doing? I have no idea. These motorcycles might lead to some brutal moves. One, two, no. Wolfie's attempts at trying to beat up Michael Pinky are pretty slow. Now he's attempted to go, but it failed. This is getting good to the wall. The motorcycle is on fire. Yes, I noticed that too. Whoa! Michael Pinky and Holtz, no, will, ha will have no sympathy. Whoa! But Michael, this match is bad because Michael Pinky does not feel pain. It will take a lot of time to keep that. Wow. You can win this match either by getting a pin for all three. Interesting. 
Because of me, so sure nothing. Whoa! Another pain attempt, but Rick Mosin is thinking he's now before blood. What a weird day he's having. Everything's on fire. Why is nothing happening? This fire is not helping me. They are brawling in the fire. Alright. Wolfie has a dumbbell, but Mike Mus But uh, Michael Bingham has a had a knife until that point. One, two, no, it fails. It's a bottom. This is not a submission match. Striking right in the face with a knee. This is uh, once again this is not a submission match. No it is no it's not. Oh wild match is one of my favorite ones. Whoa. This should be very interesting, I know that for sure. But the motorcycles are not being used right now. I think they should be. The this is a Hawkwad match for a reason, don't just make it another wrestling match. Whoa, looks like Wolfie is getting wild. Goes into the outside. Whoa, are motorcycles getting used now? No, it's a roll pin. What? Two? No, it's fake. There are a lot of explosive here too. Are they just going to ignore that motorcycle fire? Whoa! No, motorcycle slipped out of their hands. This is not a submission match. They are throwing. A pushover. Easy to. They are having a strength battle of strengths. Not a lot of hardcore championship fighting here. You know, there is really easy. No, Michael Bingen tries to. Whoa, um, um, Rick Musinant broke out a motorcycle. What the hell are you doing? This is not a submission match. He tried to cut strike from off the upper. This is not a submission match. What in the name of Rick Musinant? What are you doing? He's wrong. He's totally. He's been drunk all day. I mean, this will take a dust for you. Yes, what a- Whoa! From the motorcycle heels, you are nice, very nice. Drop kick. A kick? No. This is not a submission match! Alright. News, please, for remember that already. Michael Pingian is feeling very weak. This is not a submission match! Mm. Stop it already! Please do something with you have weapons and motorcycles. What is she trying to do? Is she drunk too? I think she is. This is not a submission match! Stop it! Why is Rick Moos- What the- That was hundred times more entertaining than what they are doing now! Rick Moos in a stop stumble on road! Please do something! What is- Finally, this is not a submission match! Please! Oh, no! 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 Please do something! Here we go! One, two, no! My Herpindian does not feel pain. <laughs> this is not a submission match! Oh, please stop it already. They should have already met each other, plead out to death already. Uh, I hope so too. This is not a submission match! Finally... Uh, Rick Musnas, 
He is totally drunk. He's lost it. He's lost his mind. No right. There we go. This is not a submission match. I'm getting already tired of saying that. Why are you two so goddamn retarded? <laughs> Ooh, I have no idea. This is not a submission match! Finally, throwing outside. You have weapons to use. This is not a submission match! <laughs> Stupid already. Why is Rick Musinas not doing anything? Finally, throwing him like a pouse of pancakes. This is not the same a match! Finally, something is happening. Uh, Irish whips are happening. Oh. Oh, yes! Now, finally, we see. Rick! 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 This is the worst match in the history of LWL. Why did I sanction this? You didn't sanction anything. Let's just say one, two, three, three, one. Congratulations! Crow Wolf features retired her championship belt. Uh. Both of me like to here in Agapiel we like to apologize on behalf of the end of this two performance. I am pretty sure that all the three people involved in this match were very drunk. I just hope Rick Musinas doesn't grow up rest of the night. And Claw Wolf got injured. What a surprise. Oh, uh. It is possible that maybe next time we will. Let's get down to our next match. The sheep herder will face someone new. Oh, interesting. There he comes, sheep herder. The former member of creativity and a dangerous foe. Yes, indeed. Boys, card on the mist. Interesting. I will let you know, boy. You are about to enter the world of pain. I know that your occultism is just a sign for evil things. I will teach you a brutal lesson in reality. Well, well, mate, don't you just take on me. I know that you have sure. What do you mean by that? I will end you and rest of your kind. Garda, the mystic, a new face in the LWO. I swear I have seen this person before. I wonder what they are about. They are brawling on the ring. So far, he has taken one rope break. Uh. Ship had to move him to the outside the ring. Throwing each other around like pancakes. And Sheep Herder makes it to the ring back again once again. And back in the ring it goes. Gordon and Sheep Herder have a very massive size difference, I just noticed. Yes, but despite that, Gordon seems to be able to own a hold on his own against this mysterious Sheep Herder. Both of them are equally mysterious, I can see his eyes. That's a very uh, strange one. Yes, I don't know how that hat keeps on uh, staying on his head. Garra on ship herder is once again back in the ring. Despite the, the size difference, Garton is easily able to throw ship herder around. Garton does something. Whoa! Almost turned himself a disqualification there. That wouldn't be very nice.
keep uh, the puncher slim in the face. What a mysterious individual. The guard on his back on the outside the ring. And she heard a... Well, that was That was very nice. Yes. He wasn't in the mood to fight it's outside the ring now. Whoa. Sheep herder is Gordon is not doing very well now. Yes, yeah, Sheep herder. He's giving Gordon, poor Gordon, several punches. Several, but Gordon is finally started to land several kicks in Sheep herder's direction. He missed. A bad, awful troll by Sheep Herder. That is not, that is not nice. Could you stop it at once? Constant three he hits in a row. Sheep Herder is showing no mercy. Sheep Herder has been also associated with this CEEV group. That has been, that we saw in our first match. It so far consists of old PH, KPB number three. Sheep Herder, Fist Tomber, Lambert Tomber and Mystery. I wonder if there are any new members. It's obviously the, considering the amount of places here with all the very little members remaining, it might be the biggest staple in RWL currently. You may be right. Pardon is striking once again. Ship. A kick to the face. Oh, he's back outside the ring. Yes, indeed. Both of these men are equal in a sense that they are both very uh, taking strikes back and forth and Rick Musinas fell out because he's wrong. Oh my god, so embarrassing. Three. Gardon is already getting back into the ring and so is Sheepherder. Kick to the face. I think Sheepherd is bleeding already. Yes, that could be a sight to see. Uh, he tried to go for a submission, but it was a rope break. He's trying to go now for a, for a pin, but that is also a rope break. Hmm. Very equal characters, both. Yeah. The both are striking strongly, but still. Whoa, a backbreaker. Whoa, some blood dripping out there. Gardon has a very strong punch. Another submission attempt by Sheepherder. Sheepherder, we saw him last time face off against, I think it was Casper, who, who got beaten by, who Casper, Casper beat Sheepherder in that match. Former associate of creativity are now currently hanging out in the mysterious CEEV. Whereas Gardon the Mystic, I have no idea who this guy is, but he seemed kind of mysterious and she better seemed to hate him. He talked about uh, something about Gardon the Mystic's ownership of something. Yes, I think he owns him. We might find out more as this past weeks go, but now, right now they are brawling on the outside of the ring. Both men are very equal, they have really neither side has got an lead here. Wow, once again thrown to the outside. And once again they are trying to break out in the rings or something. They cannot really count submissions there. No, no, they are trying several things, but none of these things work because they are on the ring side. How can they even do that? This breaks laws of gravity. 
I have no idea, it's turning into a battle of fight and strength. Gordon takes his honor of beating him up. Five minutes remaining in this match. You would think this match, but we are surprisingly seeing despite their size differences, they are very equal. But I think uh, Seeper might be trying to give him the most humiliating defeat, that timeout defeat. Whoa! He hit him in the face with a television monitor. That must hurt. At this point it's a game of who will get counted out first. But they are returning once again back into the ring. Throw. It was a painful attempt at trying to pin attempt in uh, nowhere, but nothing is happening. Uh, I have no idea what is going on. Will you tell me? But I am once again going back to inside the ring. Whoa! A throw and a puke. There, ew, that's disgusting. I think Shepard is finally picking up heat in this match. Well, he could if he really wasn't uh, rope-breaking all the time. A very brutal submission from Garden there. And he's once again thrown into the outside. As pre more predictable than anything else in the RWL. You know what they say. Both men are knocked out cold as the referee counts the deadly hand. The drunk referee, you mean God's the deadly drunken hand. Axe! What is he doing here? Maybe he's related to that god on the mystic guy. But here Axe... Axe tries to attack... Sheep herder. Maybe this will be a victory on... Uh, never mind. This may be going for a timeout. Those weird moves that he's doing, what is he trying to do here? Now, will Shepard finish off guard on the mystique? Find out. Whoa, here we go. One, two, no, it failed. One minute left of this match. Will Shepard take it, the victory to his own hands? Or will, uh, will there be a timeout? Sheep, God and the Mystic is too weak to do anything. Nobody won this match, but it was still very exciting to see. Yes, let's hope Gardon will earn his real first real victory soon. To our next match, it is Dai and Sousa taking on Omni Deputants and Vex Larry. Woo! These two were injured. Pretty much earlier on today. I mean, the day first title was injured thanks to Guy and Soulset, and he was forced to retire. Mm. 
Meet to the bastards, meet the prostate or insert for life. It was unacceptable. You bastards created the greatest man to ever live in this planet. He was an evil, powerful, evil man, and it's about time he had what he deserved. Well, looks like this battle has just moved from personal to very intense. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I don't believe for a second that Rex Larry and that these two would forget their actions, not to mention the injury that Joe Spicer, who had recently joined Hive, is caught at the hands of Clarence Mason and Inferno. Mm -hmm. Wait, uh, who's that coming up there? I think that's the guy who was in the last one, guard on the mystique. Hi, hi, knight. What's going on? You are guard on the mystique. Interesting. Tell us about yourself. I, I ran a... Shoppe, little shoppe, I back in the old, old canary It's in the mailbox. It's basically a little place where I sell some uh, dragon. We, I sell some conspiracy stuff and there was things specialized in the occult and the paranormal. Yes. Well, uh, the problem is that uh, uh, the CV has this CV of uh, the whole weirdos I want to take it down. Why? Why? Why do they want to take it down? Well, they say it promotes hateful history, but but when it's not really hateful, but it's really just ideologies that uh, people don't really talk about. I used to sell executions and stuff in the uh, day of forget it. Or do you believe in exhibitionism? Heck no! It's an idiotic ideology, but I still got to support to even the, I have to support even people that I hate. But it's scary how much power they have got them. They want to kill me, of all people. Right, but right now everyone's broke now, so only trying to take on guy again. Why did you attack she brother? She is the one who has been attacking me. I think she recently mocked one of my customers. It was very embarrassing, and that's why I turned the other wheel, so that I could get revenge on him. Whoa, what is with that weird way you talking? AI... Uh, no, it's... Almost. I'm from the Australian place. You sound not Australian, you don't sound not Australian at all. Well, uh, that's because I have been keeping very quiet. I meditate most of my life when I am not serving any customers. Almost a pinfall there. Only the put is talking down, but he jumps into action. What do you think of this place? Oh, it's, it's pretty nice, I guess, but I am very concerned. I just have to go around people. I can't just sit down or go insane. Why do you? Why are you going insane by running your shop, eh? Uh, something dark is coming. It's about time that somebody did something about this powerful evil that is surrounding this world. It I see the sense dark clouds surrounding us. The dark times are ahead. We will be all going to prison. Why? We are committing wrong we are they are going to read our minds. There is a great consciousness awakening. Does uh, does executionism have something to do with it? Yes, partially. They are playing into their agenda. The poor guys don't really know what is wrong. Only their disgusting leader, Boris Kaxkard, knows something. I see. It is sounds kind of exciting. What do, do, do you believe in? I believe in something that you cannot fathom. I have high minds in the extreme real base. So, high minds and extreme real base. What the hell is an extreme real base? You know, 
you know that people talk about out of party experiences as well as jumping into the parallel universes. I believe that this might be the way that I could get there. I see. You want to escape this world because it is about to be subject to dark times. Sounds kind of funny. Yes, the, the signs are already solid. The CEEV will create a powerful force that will destroy us all if we don't fight and they cannot fight. When Whoa, something is... I want to focus on the ring for a while. I think Omni is about to call me some serious anger on Zorzad. Look at that! He's trying to go for the team, but it failed. Yes, he kicked out instantly from absolute about a lot of... Whoa! Well, that should be... He's been up with a flaming sign of all things. Yes, Gordon, you were about to say. It's a belief that I strongly hold dear to myself. The things are changing. The world is becoming less stable. It's kind of disgusting. Yeah, I see. Can I buy something from your shop, eh? Yes, I have everything from... Do you sell flat ear for books? Come on, nobody can listen to that nonsense. Yes, I actually have flat, but I don't believe it. it's done. The raw side has been eliminated by Rex Lerys and War Omnibus. They are very fast. Yes, I have everything that you can imagine, even things that you have never heard of. Conspiracies, revelations, old. Evil. I even have former hi the diaries of former hyphis. Diaries of former hyphis. Interesting. So you have something related to RWL in there as well. Yes, after all, everyone who comes to this place is connected. I know few people. Yeah. And even I know that we are all. E I'm glad that everyone should fight against the CEEW. Omni the Brutus has been eliminated. It's down to Vex, Larry, and Guy. That is very exciting. Well, I believe that I have to go now. I did my shop can't guard itself. It might be looted again. Okay, see you later, hard on mystic. What a weird guy, but I kinda of feel bad for him. He seemed very genuine and honest. Uh, uh, Vex is trying to go for the pin and Rick Moulton has come there. I forgot that he's strong. Well, he has been more competent here and than in the last two matches, but this match does not have a time limit, so that's something that shouldn't be worried about. Vex is trying to make Guy yet about. He's very feeling very weak, but both men are taking on him. No, it's not really fair, you know. Two. No, it failed. It's kind of odd just how merciless these people are. They are really mad about the retirement of Dave Bros title. Hmm, I understand. Speaking of Dave Bros title, uh, next week he will be my... Oh! Rex Leary Block! Looks like I just got the open box after that. Where is he? Oh, that was extremely fast. Yes, as I was about to say, I'm about to interview next time. I have real, we have released an interview uh, about two weeks ago on our YouTube page. Uh, the first interview with Old PH, uh, where I talk with him about his life and career at RWL. Next week, I did not interview anyone this week because of the crossover event. But the next week, I will be interviewing Dave Prostito himself. Then you will finally, is this man, does this man have sympathy or is he all evil? Alright. And let's get down to our next match of the night. Silent Stranger defends his Nuggetway Championship against someone. I don't know who yet. Let's see. Who oh, you be? Who would have imagined that? After taking on Inferno last week for her, uh, he, uh, his RWL Championship, he's now taking on Silent Stranger, our enigmatic 
Nugget with champion who last week lost to Young Sun of Naval League But still he has been able to defend it for long after he beat Sadas Kaleko for the championship when it was neutralized by Newt. Whoa! And we begin with a drop kick. Whoa! He's beaten him up with. He doesn't care that he. Rick Musnas is truly drunk if he could wait with beating him with the, with the title for two times. Noob is out of the ring now. One. Yes, will Sanos Treasure be able to beat? Whoa! Sanos Treasure begins off with some strong moves. This guy is not a force to be reckoned with. Punch in the face by Siren Silent Stranger. Yes. Uh, whoa! A dry straw and he even pump Rick moving us. Why was he on the way? The poor guy is stronger than a kite. It's kind of says that I could go for a pain, but it was a rope. And it was again a ball. Some swings is already bleeding. This guy is selling empty, we have, although we haven't seen much of him, I mean, besides his defense against Guy last week, uh, we, all, we, we have seen a lot of his commercials, which have come at random times. Yeah, yeah, yes, uh, I'm very familiar with it. That empty bucket, it's a classic. Sort of a marketing iron, so to speak. Some people have actually bought the empty bucket. Well, people will not eat anything when in quarantine. One, two, three. Well, that was easy. I'm feeling bad for you. Well, this is a classic. Maybe one day she will get your revenge. And this dude can't be stopped. I kind of wanted to see him lose the title after last week's defeat. Maybe he's stronger now, considering how fast he beat Yubi. Hmm, we'll see about that. And next we will have... One of the few... We, we will have another title defense tonight. What is it going to be? Oh, you know, it's going to be one of those classic title defenses. It's, of course, I'm of course talking about the current tag team champions are once again defending their titles. This time against, uh, the old PH, who I was talking about earlier, as well as, or was it them? I think it was them. You know, old PH was talking about going after the... Uh, creativity and such. Yeah, you may be partly right. It's a tag team match. Here we go. Silent the new members of the mysterious CEEV faction. Two all members of the faction have been active tonight. So, here come the that each champions who defeated Guardian Swords. That very dominant tag team who unfortunately lost to the Nerobial Holy City Shuttles. They haven't defended the title set. I know that both of you are disgusting freaks. You are Rose and Slick, you were always very evil. Now finally I will take the tag team titles and take them to CEEV, where they belong. Well, I cannot give away so much rant about what you say. Let's see what happens when we give you that hell of a beating that you always want to get. Two things. In two papers in a row, old PH is facing somebody who has connections to Crabhorn. Last 
when the other player holds it, it's also tight. He beat Admin P, and now he will take on Admin P's former partner, Smith, who is now part of the team with the tattoos. Trying to go for a pin, despite the ring hosting. Whoa. Whoa. A very fast counting is happening on the ring side as these two men are fighting. They might be able to win, but they are only starting to go back into the ring. Oh, yes, old PH is an old dog. I interviewed him last for the last week's show. He was a very he's a very nice man and he's done a lot of things. I think suggest you watch him if you want to know more about this old man. Here comes Herbent with Wes. Wow, flying into right into the crowd. A very nice throw by Slick. Well, Rick Musinas is counting surprisingly fast. Maybe because he has reached the active part of his unsurprised, he's not picking up fights with him. Uh, RW or wrestlers in the ring. They could be, don't say anything yet. Okay, Fabia number 3 is trying to choke hold Slick, and now he's doing that thing with his leg. I will not need the names of wrestling moves. Nobody cares about the next of wrestling marks. Yeah, you're right. So Slick is trying to make Kay Fabia number 2 tap. Whoa, very nice. What did he just do? No idea. Alright, he texts to Herbent Request. Wait a minute. Hey, his name is Harvard Stutzum. Why did I call him Herbert Request? Uh, well, that's his alternate name that he used for a... He used it in the... You are probably confusing him when he used it in the indie circuit. He also performed in that name in er, during the early er, RWL days, but he changed his name to Albert Stockton uh, because we wanted to keep him as our real person. That is very intelligent. What is Slick's name? Uh, why don't he say he doesn't want to give it out? What is old PH's real name? I don't know. What is Kay Fabian's? Uh, shut up! Yeah, sometimes we have characters using artistic names because sometimes a name, if your name is John Smith, then you are boring. Uh, Rick Mosinas is counting pretty slow on Slick's part. Why? Uh, I think he just set a crux on fire and Horvath Stutzen takes once again back into the ring. Trying to, he's trying to choke all PH out. All PH tries, but he misses. Well played. Would be a strike spec, but it's also gonna be a rope break. Spoilers. Oh, there's a cursing at the crowd. No, so it too. Somebody's cursing in that sign. One, I wonder what it reads. I really don't know a lot of uh, five level curses. Uh, you see, no, that's a word that is okay for an appeal. Uh, maybe it's a uh, fuck uh, No, you you can say that too in GRWL. Maybe it's something offensive, like I don't know. Mm. Well, I'm glad that poor guy's sign was censored. You, we are family, so we don't tolerate that sort of behavior here. And now Slick throws all PH into the crowd. I mean, the ringside. What is he doing? Uh, I think he might be paltry drunk too. That doesn't surprise me. And for the... Old PH is entering the ring. Or maybe he's not. That was a very tense moment of non-tenseness. He's stuck into Harvard again. Where is... And Kay Fabian comes out too. Everyone's out. 
This should be exciting. A few punches to the head are very helpful to Harvard structure. An auto attack to sleep instantly. It's a rapid switch. I think they used that similar method in the uh, in their match against Guy and Zos. You may be partly right. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. We'll see. I am still suffering from that short term memory loss. It's kind of odd. I'm just pretty worried. My puppet, I don't have Alzheimer's or anything. Sleek is taking out a trophy of some kind. Yes, it's the old... Uh, we left it uh, there as a prop. It's the old RWL. Do you remember back, way back in 2015 when they did that tag team tournament? That's the same cop. It's, yes, it's Gay Fabian. I think it was the bronze trophy. Gay Fabians became uh, well in the finalist. And they became on what they were beaten by... Uh, I think it was... Uh, Maybe it is somebody, but as one of us I know. Oh oh, the time is ticking. Hey, Fabian 3 is going back into the ring. Whoa, and now he's going out of the ring again. He attacks, well, that's clever. Instead of following him, he attacks to Harvard Stadium. They really like each other. That is surprising. Harvard has always been in the negative, but I know that people that he likes he treats pretty well. They are using this rapid tactic to confuse the old bastard. Oh, they are trying to rip him off. Here comes old PH and he throws him into the rings. Again. Were they actually trying to kill each other at some point? Uh, no idea. Oh, and old PH is in on a board and beats up. The hard will start to for change. Like them, but it it is uh, not a role break. I think uh, Mr. Rick Musinas might be biased about Slick. What did he ever do to make him mad? He tried to go for yet another fast tap, but it failed. Here we go. One. No, it failed. Whoa, a very nice draw. But it was a roll play once again. Whoa! A cannonball! That's a new one. Tag into Harvard, who is very full of on energy. He is feeling very strong and confident. He's trying to break up the start, but he fails. He's attacking back to. They are attacking back to each other once again. I feel like Harvard doesn't really like him during what they are teaming up to beat up the baby number three. Try to go for the one, two. Uh, Rick Mojanas is pretty drunk. He really doesn't want Slick to win. He is supposed to be an umpire suffering. Ouch! That must have broke his back. A drop kick from Harvard. Yes, Harvard's getting back into the action. An elbow drop. Let's see what happens. Whoa! A stunner by K Fabian number three. That's clever. One. No. Come on. Everyone's going back to the ring. Listen to that an absolute chaos. Whoa! Almost disqualification came her back there. Whoa! A brutal throw by Hart. Harvard has an elbow. A punch in the face. Whoa! 
almost a pin. This is very exciting. Once again attempting, but it's a roll break. A very weird pinfall at that. How did he learn that? No idea. Whoa! A brutal hit. Uh, pile driver into the mat. By KFB number two. Once again put in the old mini charge. Reverse choke by Slick. That doesn't sound good. Whoa! Okay, Fabian number 3 is attacking Slick now. A throw into the other side. Whoa! A throw by Slick, but it's a roll break. Five minutes are remaining in this match. One, two, one. Almost a fast come from there. I think Rick Newsman has actually got something in their slick. No idea either. Whoa, a very nice throw by old P8. Here comes Harvard Susan. It is slick is trying to strike back to old P8. Now once again everyone's going into the ring to have a gamble. Very close. A troll, but it's a fly, nothing. Whoa, that's brutal. One, two, but it failed once again. Slick has a ton of passion and energy, but we don't have a lot of time. I just hope that there have been enough matches that haven't produced a winner tonight. Will Slick tap out? I want now he's stepping forward, that's a interesting wall. Well, here we go again. He's back in the ring side. Oh. I think uh, they is too well. Too. Once again we show that uh, no, we shouldn't really sometimes between two people who hate each other real a lot will not do suffice because that matches often end up in ties. Mm. I can't imagine anything more brutal. 20 minutes have gone. I think old PH might just lose because of the rings. He might be going out of the ring, but... Rick Musnas is at it in old uh, Horton's request for some reason. Oh, is it actually happening? Is old PH going to be cutted out? If that is going to be... Well, he's out. That's not nice. Well, looks like... Can Harvard do some finish of KP in under a minute and a half? We'll see. Now throw into the ringside. One minute from my Out. That would leave a mark. Indeed. They, uh, these two men have Harvard missed. Well, this does not look good at all. These two could... Well, I think these two have a habit of not finishing the match. At first, that other match uh, in the map with Grabbing, and now this one. It's very sad. Everyone's going, but it's always a. Ooh, he's... No. He almost got a big one. 
But I think I'm just glad they avoided being losing those title belts. Yes, title be I think title matches shouldn't have a time limit. I agree. Alright, let's go and see Chipper Yopper vs. Casper Pressable. Uh, but that's not Casper Pass, Chipper Yopper. Yet I think that Sipos Kaliko, the former partner, and the one who lost the chance at fame and glory. Here comes Casper Pascal, who betrayed Chipper Yopper last week. Thankfully, he was able to run with these two barrel my friends for a very long time. You attacked Chivory Arbor, you bastard! You will... I will end you! Chivory Arbor, you injured him and made him cry. I will not let you forgive. Chivory Arbor is weak. There is only Casper. Looks like these two are now taken to get to Sebastian Echo is here to take the revenge of right to the other for the injured. Yeah. Yes. No, Sebastian Echo is getting a final a chance to take revenge on get revenge on Casper and finally maybe get a victory or one. Yes, he was very close of getting that championship run. But unfortunately he lost to Wexler, who later lost to Inferno, so there you go. Whoa. He's trying to make him choke here. Indeed. Casper Percival, what is your opinion on him? He is a very dangerous character, I know that for no, For um, as many years as I have known him, he is a very intense character, known for his somewhat mysterious ways, and his aggressive attitude, and his he used to be very close with Jim Riaber, to the point he helped in that always when Jim Riaber was offended, Casper was on his side, it looks like he has changed. Look at that robotic mask he wears now. Sebaska, I hope Sebaska like that he's not doing very good here. Yeah. Casper is very tall, but we saw about God and the Mist could do with she, but uh, it runs such a long distance. And now Sebaska Leko is hopefully getting his chance with Casper Basketball. Almost a kick in the face. No. Oh, oh. Warning. But it failed. He missed with that Superman punch. Uh oh, this was not very good. He's eliminating him. He's trying to make him tap out. Do something that never works. Come on, don't give up, Sebas. You can do it. Yes, I knew it. But Casper is striking back with some heavy kicks at the face. Trying to make him choke again. Punching him in the face. Those deadly punches. Uh, what? In Iron Hat is joining the match now. Uh, obviously he's here to replace that drunkard Rick Moonsness. That is odd. I never would have imagined Rick Moons Iron Hand could, could have become a referee here. What happened to this Iron Hand? Uh, I think he's keeping it in the wash or something. I mean, he's not really... His hand is really not iron. Oh, here we go. One, two, 
No. A very nice throw. Trying to make Casper tap. Trying to make Sebas tap out here. That's brutal. I know, right? Now Sebas is trying to strike back with his own hand. But it failed. Oh, a brutal throw by... Uh oh. No, Casper did not want to. It's a rope break time. Uh oh. Here, once again, here comes Tiber Yager with... I mean, is Casper possible? It's a rope break. It's his strength or what in the name of God? I think he's drunk too. Uh oh, here we go then. They are both counting very fast. Sebas is not doing well. What is that thing? It's the same thing that happened in Sea Paradise match. That weird put down thing. I think it's a new trend in the wrestling business. The boot down. Mm, you may be partly right that we are having a new... They are counting the two referees are counting very fast. The crowd is not liking this. Well, they have seen enough non-contest. Imagine if this was a non-contest too. Whoa. A throw. What is? Why is Casper not going on to the ring? I think he might actually be taking... I think he might be actually get counted out. Look at how fast these referees are counting. No, he got there just when Sipas Kaleko was about to be counted out. Come on, go there already. Alright, here we go. Not again. Come on, can we at least one match with a clear winner here? We already had, we just have a have two non contest already. Yay. Once again, they, this is annoying. Didn't we agree to get rid of count outs in NWL? Yes, I agree. Let's talk about other things as long as they are outside the ring, because this match will not progress when, as long as they are there. Okay, what is your favorite movie? Uh, Gone with the Wind. What? Uh, but that's a wrong answer. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, sorry, uh... I meant the... Uh, uh, Terminator 3. But that one sucks. Terminator 2 is much better. Yes, but I also... I am a pretty much... I've always thought that it's an underrated masterpiece. How so? Well, I haven't seen it in ages, but I think it's still a very great movie. Well, my favorite movie is To Casablanca, Brother Love. It has nothing to do with that other Casablanca. Whoa! Well, that was the weirdest thing in the history of Air of World. He was about to run into the ring when he got out at the tenth end, and he had have a special on everything. Sebas won by count out. Who could have imagined that? Well, it looks it's time for our main event soon. It's going to be the RWL. It's going to be Axe facing off against Inferno. Here we go. Iron Hand is now referee for the main event. Go for a drive, you need to pull off to 
I fought with all horrible access to music. It is about he likes giants, especially girl giants. But all to oh here comes Inferno. Them forced to be reckoned with. Access no chance. Oh, I'm sorry to beat to try to have beat you up, Inferno, but I have to try. Okay, Ax. You have given me so much money in the past few weeks. Don't worry about it. I can't afford to lose it. Uh, but I did bet. Oh, you want to win. Ah, oh, true friends. For well, once we are not seeing a bit of rivalry between two true friends having a competition. For once you can just have friends coughing instead of constant arguing and battling that the other girl is unfairly naughty. Ax already took the belt for himself. Inferno strikes several punches, but Ax strikes back. He's running to outer inside. And now there is no count out so anything can happen. Whoa! Who would have known that Ax was that powerful? <laughs> Come on, Inferno knows what he's doing. Oh, he stumbled upon him. Whoa! Ax knocked him out on the... Around that table. Yes, Rick moves in a stable. I hope he's taking a good rest after being sent home for being drunk. I think he two people should be embarrassed for it. Inferno's throwing axe, and he's setting out. The weapons are on fire! Whoa! Well, that man backfired. Boot may have got into out of their minds. Except for axe, who was now back in the ring. Somebody wants to marry Ax. You, I judge your taste in men, the dear person in the crowd. Ax is trying to get Inferno to tap out with him. A throw into the... by Ax. No. I think it's not fair, Clarence Mason should be on his side. Woo! A pin attempt, but it almost it didn't succeed. Whoa! A throw by Inferno once again. Trying to make him tap out. Yes. Inferno, you can do it. No access to make Inferno tap out. Throw to the back. Inferno. Inferno throws Axe. Axe is kicking. I you never would have. This guy has been comedy chopper for most of his career. Don't say chopper, it's a rule, what to say. Axe is trying to go for a pin throw. A flying kick by Axe. This is Tomb Friends. And a, a better and his friend are taking on each other, a champion. Woo! X just completely threw him out of the ring after he tried that weird big way. Never tried to weird big way. Mm, you have never won a match with that. He has a super snooker game. What the hell is snooker? It's a British thing. Whoa, it's the ship for the boot gun. Yes, the new hit of the 2020s. Let's a series on fire! Yes, you have a child on fire, yet you try a painful attempt. Whoa, that is absolutely inferno sweet! But you know, my iron hand is kind of slow because I can't stand X. Whoa, two, three! Who would have imagined? Yes, Inferno once again took the best of the things. It's always me that's the shortest one of the enemy. Thank you for joining LWL Discoteca, even though tonight featured two non-contests and the worst match in the history of LWL, I say today was a good night. Yes, see you next week at the next LWL Mystery Night.